levels of spirit and together manifesting the magical and mystical level of cosmic awareness coming along with the longing for complete surrender to the higher self which has potentially been waiting these long eons of time and in fact sometimes has been dipping into a state of semi-sleep or unconsciousness bordering on complete absence of thought Which would have 
have us living forever in darkness and confusion, refusing even to acknowledge that we even existed, or that there was such a thing as a bad tooth or a toothache. Bringing our discussion to the realm of practical considerations, it is interesting to note the possibilities of dental hygiene and the remarkable idea of a world free of tooth decay and all other problems associated with the teeth, tongue, or oral cavity, which would, in fact, become a prime motivator for a certain disappearance of fears associated with pain connected with dental applications, and even the idea that plaque could appear upon the surface of the teeth and the negative occurrence would follow, such as the hideous odors emitted from the oral cavity and the discolorations and the result of prefrication of the once beautiful mental images and the possibility of the breaking of relationships based upon the idea of negative distortion of the mouth for teeth while not necessarily considered one of the primary building blocks of happiness can in fact become a small sore festering and transferring negative energies to the once quiet and peaceful mind giving it over to strange and unproductive thinking Strange and unproductive thinking. Strange and unproductive thinking. Strange and unproductive thinking. Unproductive thinking. Unproductive thinking. Unproductive thinking.